Welcome to today's video on Google Docs and digital rubrics. What you see here is a digital rubric created in Google Docs and this can be easily shared with your students, especially through Hapera Teacher Dashboard, in which case a copy can be easily put into each student's Google Drive. Once it's there, both you and the student can edit it and then that can be used to save paper, which is the main advantage of this. The second advantage is that we can use color. If you take a look here, you can see that between the three different bands, um, there's a red task. So if we take a closer look at that, we can see that all three red tasks are related to how biotechnology works to solve a problem. This is a science example. The difference is in the command terms, stated, described, and explained. Or in other words, how well they um, talk about the biotechnology solving the problem. So when the student gets this rubric, they're going to think a little bit differently. They're going to see a blue task, a red task, a green task, and a purple task. And they're going to think, okay, I have four things that I need to do, and my mark's going to depend on how well I do all four of those. And it would be a little bit different than if they had instead been given this in purely in black and white, in which case they would think they would sort of just see ten tasks. They wouldn't see a relationship between them over the different bands. The last advantage to this is that it's very easy for the students to reflect as they go along. They can simply check off as they go what they think they've done, how well they think they've done it, and then at the end they can write a prediction. And then when you go in to mark, you've seen what they've reflected on, and then you can go in and you can edit, you know, add check marks, remove check marks, whatever you need to and then come up with your own grade and add in your own comments. And so that's all just shared digitally. Here's a template that you can use. It has all the color coding here. You just need to paste in what you need. And if you want to use this, you just go to this website here.